Walt Disney, who will bring a new world of entertainment, pleasure, and economic development to the state of Florida. Walt Disney. Thank you, gentlemen. May I, may I also introduce on my left the financial genius of Walt Disney Productions, its president, Mr. Roy Disney. Mr. Disney, this is the largest press aggregation I have ever seen in the state of Florida, and I think it bespeaks the interest of the six and a half million citizens of Florida for the great expectations that they have from this hour. Well, Mr. Governor, uh, this has been a wonderful reception that uh, you've given us here. All the faces seem friendly, and uh, we feel very much at home. And, uh, of course, this is a big, exciting project for us, too, you know. I mean, uh, in fact, it's the uh, biggest thing we've ever tackled. And I might, for the benefit of the press, explain that my brother and I have been together in our business for 42 years now. He's my big brother, and he's the one that, uh, when I was a little fellow, I used to go to with uh, some of my wild ideas, and he'd either straighten me out, put me out the right path or something, or if he didn't agree with me, I'd, uh, I'd work on it for years until I got him to agree with me. But I must say that uh, we've had our uh, little problems that way. That's, that's been the proper balance that has been needed in our organization. And uh, he watches out for the financial side of it, and the corporate side. And uh, in this project, though, I'd just like to say that uh, I didn't have to work very hard with him on this project. He was with me from the start. Now, whether that's good or bad, I don't know. <laughs> but I think that to have this uh, enthusiasm on the part of, of our whole organization and on the part of the people of the state of Florida really uh, is, is a good start. And uh, we hope that uh, what we develop here will be a, a real credit to the state, a credit to the Disney organization. And I, I might say that uh, when we were planning Disneyland and uh, we uh, hoped that we could build something that would command the respect of the community. And uh, after 10 years, I, I feel that we've accomplished that. Not only the community, but uh, the country as a whole. And that is actually what we hope to do here, is to really develop something that, uh, well, it's just more than an entertainment enterprise. It's, uh, it's something that uh, contributes in many other ways uh, well, educationally, and uh, the one thing is that, to me, the important thing is the family, and if you can keep that family together with things, and that's been the backbone of our whole business, catering to the families. Well, and that's uh, what we hope to do. Well, everyone in the state has been thrilled with the announcement of your purchases. Uh, located some 12 miles south of Orlando, and, of course, they are all excited to know just what type of attraction or what type of usage will be made of this great location. Well, at this stage, uh, uh, Governor, it's, it's hard to spell it all out. Uh, the uh, Disneyland operation is, uh, is unique. And uh, out of the 10 years' experience at Disneyland, we have we've learned an awful lot. And it's like anything that after you've done something, you see uh, with the experience and, the, and all of that, uh, what you might do if you were starting from scratch. And uh, here, after taking a look at the land this morning, I, I say we are starting from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have many things in mind that could make this unique and different than Disneyland. Will it be a Disneyland? Well, uh... I've always said there will never be another Disneyland, Governor, and uh, I think it's going to work out that way, but it will be the equivalent of Disneyland. We know the basic things that have this, what I call, family appeal, but there's many ways that you can use those certain basic things and give them a new decor, a new treatment, uh, uh, 
uh, fact, I've been doing that with Disneyland. I've, some of my things, I've redone them as I've gone along, reshaped them. And, uh, and I was right now, I'm in the process of adding $20 million in new things to open next June at Disneyland. But uh, this concept here will have to be something that is unique and uh, so that there is a distinction between Disneyland in California and whatever Disney does. I notice I didn't say Disneyland in Florida. Whatever <laughs> Disney does in Florida. And uh, we have many ideas. I have a wonderful staff now that uh, have had 10 years experience of designing, planning, and operating. In fact, we did the four shows at the World's Fair, and it was a, a new departure for us. It was a, something we'd never tackled before. And fortunately, they were four very successful shows at the New York World's Fair. In fact, one project there, which was one of the uh, top attractions at the fair, was called It's a Small World. It was sponsored by the Pepsi-Cola Company. They came to us 11 months before the fair opened and, and asked us to come up with some kind of a of a show for them, and we had the show open on time. And, and when they came to us, we didn't have any idea what the show was going to be. But uh, it's one of those things you get in, you know, we, we call them gag sessions. We get in there and we toss ideas around. Everybody's been thinking on the staff of things that might be done if we were redoing Disneyland. And we throw them in and put all the uh, minds together and come up with something and uh, say a little prayer and open it and hope it'll go. I, uh, I'm very excited about it because I've, I've been storing these things up over the years and uh, certain attractions at Disneyland that have a basic appeal, I might move here. Then again, I would like to create new things. You hate to repeat yourself. I, I, I don't like to make sequels to my pictures. But I like to make a, take a new thing and develop something, a new concept. So that's about the only way I can put it, Governor. I don't think you've mentioned the amount of money of the initial investment. That would, a indicate, a lot. <laughs> that would indicate the size of this project. Well, there was a time in my life I didn't think there was that much money. No. But, uh, well, you see, the, this, the initial stage here has to top what we have, or at least be the equivalent of what we have now in California. But my big brother says we can do it. <laughs> He's the money man. <laughs> well, uh, if, if all, everything was set right now, in other words, we have a few preliminary things to go through. We have to uh, lay out certain projections and things that are financing, how we're going to pay off that money, how it's going to come out. We need to work with the government here for certain things that, uh, that uh, they, they will do for us or with us to make this possible. But if all that was settled, and they gave me the word, I don't go to work, you know, until we get all those things settled, and then, uh, then, uh, then, then I'd put my team on it. And I'd say it'd take a year and a half to, to plan, and while we're planning, we'd be doing a lot of, of, of uh, basic work on the site, and a year and a half to, uh, to about three years. Don't hold me to it, though. I might. <laughs> <laughs> amusements that they create themselves as to what portion of the cost of the development of uh, any one of these rides or attractions, uh, what portion of it should be subject to sales tax. Uh, should the sales tax cover the uh, prototypes that they have had to build five or six before arriving at the final uh, product? Uh, should the engineering, the design, all of this be a part of the cost of developing uh, this instrument that will be used for the purpose of uh, selling admissions and generating sales tax. These are the areas in which governmental cooperation is required. Now, the Disney attorneys are bus busy compiling this whole area of uh, necessary loophole closing in our statutes, and uh, it's a matter of when they present their request. Well, I think, uh, I think I might answer that. <coughs> uh, it, it ties in. We found that in Southern California that uh, 
the incentive to come to an area. And when they once get in the area, then they will take in these other things. That happened when Seattle had its World's Fair. And Seattle's way up in the northern part of Washington. Yet people, with the Seattle Fair and with Disneyland, the two of them tied together and they made a regular loop. And uh, we had checks at both the Seattle Fair and at Disneyland. And we found the people who'd been to the fair and had taken in Disneyland on their way home, vice versa. Mr. Disney, would you tell me one thing? You say you have ideas on what you'd like to put in here. 27,000 acres of land. Would you care to define some of those ideas? Well, uh, i got a lot of them, and uh, I haven't worked them out, and uh, I haven't proven them out. Uh, I carry ideas around my head for a long time, and I'll uh, kind of keep working them out as I carry them around, but when I, when I go ahead and throw it up to my team, I then, then I can firm it up. And I don't think at this stage... Well, I mean, I got so darn many, I would, we, we take up the whole afternoon. And, uh, but uh, it isn't right to put them out at this stage. It isn't. Uh, You've got to firm up a little bit. Well, we've been making a survey of uh, potential locations for uh, an additional uh, uh, type of the operation like Disneyland for the last uh, 10 years. We surveyed the whole eastern coast. And uh, then we would we narrowed it down to uh, to regions like Florida, and it just seemed to us that uh, the uh, the lands available, the, uh, the freeway routes coming from all directions they bisect here, and uh, I don't know they uh, I don't know. that was mostly it I think. has said that there'll only be one Disneyland, that's in California. He's referring to a name, Disneyland. He said that there will be a family attraction of the same nature, except larger and obviously newer, than the Disneyland at Anaheim, California. And this will be the core central development. Is this that's right. We hope we might bring some Californians over to Florida, you see, to see the new one in Florida if it's different. Disney World, that term has been used in many ways in our business. Uh, they refer to, uh, we have a publication called the Disney World, which brings, encompasses all of our activities for our employees and our offices all over the world. The Disney World is something we've been using. Now, rather Disney that... World of Color? Uh, wonderful World of Color. Wonderful World. Uh, on NBC, it, uh, Sunday nights and stuff. <laughs> well, we've been using the term uh, Disney World to encompass all of our activities. Now, what we'll what we'll call this here, we haven't got into that. That takes a little study. I didn't interpret Mr. Disney saying that he was going to break ground the first of the year. Uh, well, even if he could work things out, I think that I understood him to say it takes a good while to plan these things and to conceive the ideas and to develop exactly the course that he's going to follow. Um, the matter of the timing with respect to legislation that would be needed is a matter that's now in the hands of Mr. Disney's attorneys, and we're in the process of considering the various questions that they are presenting. Uh, I pledge today on behalf of all of the officials that we would cooperate to the fullest degree to meet the requirements of Disney Production, Inc. in this development. Well, I'd say that cooperation to the fullest extent could include the calling of a special session of the legislature, yes. That includes the tying in of the B-line or expressway and the exits and egress ingress and egress off of Interstate 4 and other general improvements of the roads in that area. This project will be 100% dependent on automobile traffic and 80% of the tourists of this state out of the 15 million uh, come to this state by automobile. Know that we can only go on past experience that the 15 million tourists that we have now contribute some three billion dollars a year to the economy of this state and the tourist this year or last year this year's figure is not complete 
contributed 17% of the total taxes collected in the state. Now, as to how much this new attraction will uh, multiply the number of tourists or the time that they spend in the state uh, is the factor that you're asking about, and your guess on that's about as good as mine. But I predict that with the combination of the tourist center at Cape Kennedy and with this Disney attraction, that we'll experience at least a 50% and possibly a 100% increase in tourism in the state of Florida. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for the very fine coverage that you have given this event today. I have made the appraisal that this is the most important day in the progress and the future development of this state. I know of no single thing in history that could have made the impact that the establishment of the Disney facility here will make. With the people here from Pensacola to Key West, community leaders and officials, certainly this state has expressed its delight at the decision of Walt Disney and Walt Disney Productions to come and be among us. Thank you very much.